next story about the famous Civil War locomotive. And it will see how did a great comedy. A engineer of the locomotive, the general. As news arrives of the firing on Fort Sumter, Johnny is fine to list in the Southern Army. But the rec officer decides Johnny will be more valuable to the South as a railroad engineer than as a soldier. Sorry. Next. I said next, buddy. The army doesn't want Johnny. His girl, Annabelle, doesn't want any part of him either. still going on. In a northern army camp, a daring plan is hatched. A group of picked men are to infiltrate behind southern lines, steal a locomotive, and destroy communications. Which locomotive? The general, of course. Still right on schedule, Johnny is unaware that the passengers are the Northern Raiders, disguised as Southerners. And by coincidence, his girlfriend, Annabelle, who has never forgiven him for not being in the Army. The train has stopped, and now the Union plan goes into action. Keaton's heroines had one thing in common. They were all dumb, and Annabelle will be no exception. She's forgotten something, and as she goes back to get it, get through, and they proceed to carry out the rest of their plan. <laughs> to avoid suspicion, the Northerners change into Confederate gray. Johnny doesn't give up. He races all the way to the next town to get help and another engine.
make up for the missing infantry, he decides to try artillery. The raiders, confident that no one could have followed them, stopped to take on water. on water. Johnny's plan is to lob a shot right over the top of his own locomotive. thing to do now is to get as far away as possible. The raiders now believe they're being followed by an entire train of artillery. To slow their pursuers down, they release one of their boxcars. the locomotive itself. And now, one of the most beautifully timed sequences of all motion picture comedy. Just at this moment, the Southern Army is retreating. Johnny's just too busy to notice the retreat and steams on northward. While Johnny is chopping wood, Confederate gray turns to Union blue. Johnny looks 
looks up, he's behind enemy lines. Hopeless, he decides his only chance is to get off the train and hide. The point at which Johnny left his train is close to Union headquarters. It's where prisoner Annabelle has been taken, and it's where the Union staff is planning their campaign. A Union soldier is on guard. Two Union soldiers. to overhear the Union plan to send a supply train to support General Parker's attack at Rock River Bridge. breaks, Johnny discovers that right in the middle of the supply depot is his own locomotive, the General. His mind goes to work. Locomotive chase starts all over again in the opposite direction. Now to find Annabelle. Other great comedians treated their heroines with dignity and respect primarily for pathos. Keaton, however, deliberately used his heroines as comedy foils, almost as props. Johnny gives the Northerners exactly the same treatment they gave him on the way up.
general needs water as well as wood. Pursuers haven't been delayed enough. time to get rid of the boxcar. The Union attack depends on getting their supplies across Rock River Bridge, and Johnny knows his job is to destroy it. His plan, to set the bridge on fire. The supply train for the northern attack is almost there too. Johnny's idea is to climb back on the tender and light the fire with the burning log. But watch the graceful Annabelle. back up and you jump. Annabelle backs up. changes into one of the Confederate uniforms left in the cab. He alerts division headquarters. Confederate army goes to stem the attack. Every last man. movie makers believe this next sequence is one of the classic moments of comic satire. The general decides the bridge is not impassable and orders the train across.
although this is a comedy, the battle scenes have the scope and realism of Matthew Brady photographs of the Civil War brought to life. But the most remarkable thing is that through all the inferno and chaos, Keaton weaves his nonsense so expertly that two great armies serve as mere straight men. the dam and the position of the northern troops becomes untenable. The victorious southern troops march home. Johnny is told, what do you mean by wearing this uniform? You were never enlisted in the army. Even as a lieutenant, the minute he's with Annabelle, there are problems. But a man who's recaptured the general and won a battle single-handed can easily find a solution.